happened, Dollyverse? My name is Gypsy, and you are watching our series Doll Events here on Broken Dolly TV. Today, I wanted to go over something that is, uh, I guess, new. It hasn't been released yet, so we're going to discuss these new dolls that I have taken an interest in, and I don't really know the proper title or whatever the actual official name is going to be for these dolls. Um, I've seen them noted as Barbie Extra as well as Barbie Fashionistas Extra or Barbie Extra Fashionistas, like some combination of those words. So I don't know exactly what their official title is going to be. I have not seen any images of the packaging that they're going to come in. But for now, just because I don't like being long-winded, I'm just going to say Barbie Extra because it's just easier and faster. But nonetheless, y'all know what I'm talking about. Okay, so occasionally you will see me looking down um because i'm looking at my computer screen while i'm talking to you guys all right so let's get into this first let me give a shout out to the website that i got most of my information and images from which is youloveit.com and on my computer it says that the the page is not secure <laughs> but on my phone i don't see any indications like that so if you're looking on your phone it's probably a safe website to go to if you're looking from your computer i would suggest make sure you have your uh antiviral software activated before you go on sites that are not secure shout out to this website because that's where i did get most of my information from um but also various instagram posts and dms people be sending me you know news about whatever's going on in doll world uh frequently so i do have a mixture of sources that i'm using just wanting to let you guys know that and i have gotten no information on this doll line through anybody who's like officially affiliated with Mattel. So it's all speculation here. Okay, so first thing I noticed about them is that they are three different female dolls and they come in slightly different skin tones. I'm seeing the classic Barbie version, there is a black version, and then there's an Asian kind of version. She looks Asian to me, but I guess it's all in your interpretation. She could be whatever ambiguous ethnicity you think she may <laughs> look like. So I want to do a breakdown of each doll specifically. So on this website, I see that they have listed the dolls by a name. Each different doll has its own name. And the first one is the classic Barbie one. She's listed as Pinkalicious doll. Again, all speculation. I don't know if this is Mattel's official wording for these dolls, but we're just going to go based on what we're seeing because all we have right now is rumors. Okay, so the first thing I noticed about her is her hair length. It's really, really long all the way down to her knees almost. And the texture of it is crimply. It's like, like a, you know, like a wavy kind of texture. And that we used to call those crimples back in the day. <laughs> I don't know what they're called now. She is wearing, uh, looks like a faux fur light pink coat or maybe a scarf or something. And then she's got on a glittery, a glittery silver tank top with blue jeans. The blue jeans have star prints all over them. And she also comes with a pet. Each of these dolls are supposed to come with a pet. And her pet looks like a flying pig unicorn hybrid um, sitting on a cloud. She's carrying something in her hand that looks like to me candy it's a sweet it looks like an actual life-size piece of candy and i want to say she's wearing a ring can't really tell too much in this picture but it looks like it's coming down too low on her hand to be a bracelet so i'm just speculating it's a ring like a real big fancy ring but it could be a bracelet or a cuff and then she's got some barrettes in her hair. She's got two buns up there. She's got on a pair of sunglasses, that old school retro flowery big giant glasses. And some jewelry, a choker. Um, she also comes with boots with wings on them, which is something different. I haven't seen that before. Okay, so this is my assessment of this doll. Uh, I'm going to say that the doll is carrying a treat for her pet. That's what I'm guessing that the treat is. And maybe it's something that you can actually open up and there's like little bits and pieces of animal treats in there maybe. I don't know. But this is just my speculation. That's what I'm guessing that's for. Because I don't really know what Barbie would be doing with this gigantic bag of candy. Um, <laughs> and I doubt that Mattel is selling real actual candy that people can eat in the packaging with their dolls. Like, I just can't imagine them doing that. Like, what is the shelf life on that? Is there an expiration date? I don't know. It's too much management. I don't see Mattel doing all of that. So, 
Um, from Yeah, so that's just my guess. That is probably something for her pet. And what I like about this doll is that although I'm not usually a fan of classic Barbie, I would... I would add this doll to my collection because she gives enough variety um, in what I'm seeing that she stands apart from actual plain old Barbie. For instance, her hair, it's super long. Anyway, I love the texture, the crinkles. It reminds me of my first ever official Barbie doll that I had when I first moved to America. And I had the blonde one and I also had the Teresa version, which is like the Hispanic one. So. I loved their hair. That was like my favorite thing about that doll, that she had hair that was all the way down to her like knees. It was really, really long. Or maybe even longer. I think her hair went all the way down to her ankles. Yeah, so that's like a um, like a throwback memory for me. And that hair texture and length reminds me of that doll a lot. And I also like that she's got the space buns and the barrettes. Assuming the barrettes are removable and you can keep using them over and over, it will be a really nice accessory to use on various dolls. And then the buns give it kind of like a different look because it's not just the crinkly hair, but she's also got the buns. It makes it seem more like modern and different. I just like that whole look. And I also do like the outfit that she's wearing, even though I'm not, again, a big fan of pink on girls. But like, I would steal her um, jacket <laughs> for my daddy character who we have on our Broken Barbie Show series. Um, just things like that. You can kind of use it for different things, but he would definitely rock a pink, <laughs> a pink sweater that looked like this. And her glittery top, assuming it's plain, I really like when Barbie comes up with plain colors for their clothing because we can mix match them so much easier with all of the crazy prints that we normally have. The jeans, although there's the star print on them, because they're like a classic blue color, I feel like you could match that with lots of different things even if they did have prints on the tops. And I do like the little ruffled texture that they added there on the side. I love that the boots are a plain white color. Again, you can customize that easily. You can mix match that easily with whatever colors and prints you've got. White matches everything. So it's a very safe uh, color scheme that they use for this doll. Okay, so the pet looks like a fantastical pet. It doesn't really exist in real life, but it's interesting to see that her pet is like this kooky, crazy hybrid animal thing. It kind of makes it stand out. It's different from all the usual stuff that you would normally see coming with Barbie dolls. I wish I could see her face in this um, picture I'm looking at. I want to say I saw a picture of her face somewhere, but to me, it looks like the makeup job was done in a very subtle way. It's not distracting from the rest of the doll and leaves a lot of room for customization, which is always a good thing. I'm hoping that because her hair is so long, that it's rooted fully. I see that it looks very flat in the picture and the space buns ha have to have some, you know, room to be like created, but she's got like these long bangs and I'm hoping that it's not the situation like with the, um, you know how they do Mattel, you know how the collector dolls with the high ponytails, if you take the ponytail down, it'd be like a huge bald spot right in the middle of her head. <laughs> <laughs> but that's because they're trying to get the hair real, real, real tight onto the scalp. And and that look is impossible if you have too much hair rooted into the doll. <sighs> I get it. I get why they do it. But it's so annoying because people like me who like to uh, kind of like take the doll out of their original state. We, that's like a huge disappointment when we take the hair down and we're like, oh, God, like you can't do anything else with it. But keep it in a ponytail unless you got time on your hands to reroute the doll and who has time like that to be doing that i don't i just hope that's not the case with this doll i don't think it will because most of her hair is down but you know you just never know all right so let's move on to the next doll she's listed on this website as barbie extra swag chick nikki doll swag chick nikki doll okay uh first of all let me just say can we stop it with the nikki like nikki is a character from barbie dream house right that sculpt that they used for Nikki, that's Nikki. Like, every other new black sculpt that they use, it seems like they're all being labeled as Nikki. And that's really confusing. I don't like that. But, yeah, no. How you went from Pinkalicious to all of a sudden Nikki? Like, just just call me the, the swag chick doll. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. Maybe the person who owns this website just added that in there. But I see that a lot. Like, especially on eBay, too. People will will label all the black dolls as Nikki and it's so annoying. Um so she is really funky looking to me. She's got 
let's see. She's got rainbow color jacket with the faux fur. And, bro, I'm going to just go ahead and say it's a ring. Yeah, because it looks like to me she's got a gigantic oversized yellow diamond just hanging on her finger or where her finger should be. And it's got to be a ring. I feel like it's like a circular ring that actually slides onto the doll's finger like how Integrity Dolls does it. That's my prediction based on what I'm looking at. Again, I could be wrong. Don't hold me to that. I do not have this doll in person. I'm just going off pictures, y'all. So this doll has the giant Afro puffs. I think they're tied in two. That's what it looks like to me. And she's got on some really dark shades in her hair that says shine bright, which is pretty clever. I bet they will look really goofy on her face, but <laughs> that's cute. Um... I, she's got really 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 long braids too which this I'm a little bit like iffy about because the length of the hair that they're using for the braids it's got to be way longer than that hair that's that's curly when it's stretched or straightened so there's no way you're going to blend the hair uh, between the two textures if you if you make them all the same texture it's not going to blend completely you're going to have to cut something for it to match the length so that might be a little bit of a challenge to restyle the doll sometimes but i'm sure people can come up with creative ways to restyle the hair and even if they don't take the braids down um yeah or you can just cut them off but whatever the case is it's an interesting look i like the braids i like the way they look and i like the concept of her having hair that long I mean, you know how they say shrinkage. The shrinkage is real. Ain't no afro gonna be that <laughs> that size that <laughs> would stretch to this length. That's not realistic, but it's fun to look at. I do like that they didn't cover this doll's face up with the glasses in her promo picture. And she's wearing a two-piece. It looks like some kind of spandex outfit that says love, 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 love all around the uh, hemline. There's a golden like chain around her neck. She's got on sparkly silver boots along with some high socks, knee-high socks. And the colors, once again, I feel like the color, it's like it's like neutral while being bright at the same time. For bright colors, these are the neutrals. Like, these are the colors that go with everything. So, I like that they do the plain colors, um, the plain socks, the plain boots, and the plain outfit. Because this outfit, you could definitely rock that top with tons of other bottoms and those bottoms will go with tons of other tops including things that have prints on them already that's a huge plus she also looks like she's got a little clutch handbag oh you know what maybe the maybe the white doll is not carrying candy maybe she's carrying a purse that looks like a bag of candy that would be kind of interesting right Hmm, interesting. Okay, so maybe that's what that is. She's got her little pet doggy. It looks like a pet poodle. It's not any crazy colors or anything, and I don't see any strange body parts that don't go together <laughs> for this one. So I don't know. They didn't stick with their fantasy theme all the way through. Um, the doggy looks like it comes with his own little doggy purse or doggy bag or something that you can put those three bone treats in. And it's wearing sunglasses, which I really hope are removable. Oh, you know what else I just noticed? The the blonde doll, she is wearing big, huge hoop earrings, which is also a plus. The swag chick, she looks like she's wearing some big old earrings, some big hoops. And those never go out of style, you guys. You can't go wrong with hoops. So I loves that. Another thing I really like about this one is her head sculpt. This is one of the nicer head sculpts, I think, of the newer ones. And um, this head sculpt reminds me of, I want to say, I want to say it reminds me of the first ever curvy doll. I want to say it's that head sculpt, which resembles very closely the Carl head sculpt. And, but Carl, they normally use on more collectible type dolls. So I don't know if this is actually a Carl sculpt because like I said, those two sculpts look so similar. It's really hard to tell them apart in pictures. When you get them in person, you'll see that the newer Fashionistas one, her head sculpt is bigger. It's like, a, like you know, like 10, 20% bigger in size. Her face is just bigger. All her features are bigger than the sculpt for Carl. So if this sculpt is a small head, I would say that it is Carl. If it's a bigger head, then it's that other one. But yeah, so I like the sculpt. It's a very soft, feminine look and really pretty sculpts to re um paint if you are into that and even with small enhancements she'll look really nice you can't you can't go wrong with that sculpt all right so the last doll we're gonna look at is the candy queen leah doll that's how it's labeled on the website and 
most of the time people just label everything that looks asian as leah <laughs> like they do with the nikki doll for all the black ones um so so sometimes there is a leah sculpt so sometimes you're getting actual leah sculpt but sometimes it's just an asian looking face up that we're calling leah so i don't want you guys to be confused about that um yeah but this particular doll she does have a, a face up to me that looks very like asianish and of course, she can pass for other races besides Asian, but that's just how she looks to me. This one has to be my favorite, not because she's Asian at all. It's the stilo, it's the whole style, the body, everything. So for this one, she's got really long hair, and it's a two-toned hair. She's got half of her hair is supposed to be dyed pastel purple, other half is pastel pink, and she's got on like a yellow beanie. And she's decked out, like she's decked out. She's got this ruffled skirt she's got this iridescent looking top with the clouds on the sleeves and just the style of the clothing looks very different than what you would normally see on playline dolls i guess and she is wearing some jewelry as well she's got on this crazy huge gigantic choker and some earrings and the earrings are like just drop dangle earrings i love her glasses <laughs> Those glasses are dope. I would wear those in real life. And I love the colors. Like the colors are very see-through, pearly, shiny kind of colors. I love that. And then the shoes, she looks like she's wearing some sneaker boots. Potentially sneaker boots. They're plain white. She's got on some knit stockings, which is always a plus. And she, she's got a huge diamond purse. The purse is shaped like a diamond, which that's why I'm saying the other one, the black doll, she, her ring looks like the same shape as this girl's purse. Yeah, and then she's got on bracelets on each hand, and her hair is so long it goes down past her knees. And her pet, <laughs> her pet is a dog with all his hair covering the front of his eyes. You can't see his eyes. And he's got on a collar that says Baus, <laughs> and that's pretty um cool, I think. I like that. I don't know, just... Everything about her looks kind of different and she's also different in her body type because she is a curvy body type. I can tell from looking at the pictures. I know you guys are like, how do you know? Well, she looks like a curvy doll. That's why I know. But she's not MTM body. She does have an articulated curvy body though. Bro, remember when back in the day, like back in the day, remember when Adonis did a video where he did like a um show and tell of how he customized one of the dolls in our collection to be a curvy asian doll this was before the fashionistas had you know all these different body types and different skin tones so there were no asian head sculpts with a curvy style body so he actually customized one and we put that video up there and like since then we've seen curvy dolls with Asian sculpts so I feel like this is kind of like you know like the perfect package of that and without me having to customize anything like it's already done for me so that's what I really like about this doll the most as far as adding them to my collection I really would add all of them I would I would add all of them um, based on pricing ranges that I've seen online most of the prices I saw were calculated in euros so a rough calculation, I'm going to predict that these dolls are going to be like $30 a pop, um, probably like $29.95 or something like that. Each doll comes with articulated bodies. They're not MTM articulation, so count that out. You're going to have to put them on different bodies if you want that level of articulation. But from what I can tell, each one of these dolls' skin tones will match a, an MTM doll. So, of course, there's the classic Barbie skin tone, which is just like regular like um, like pink top. And then we have... Uh, and I'm talking about the yoga dolls to reference the body donors. So pink top is going to match the regular Barbie one. And then the black girl, she should be a yellow top skin tone. And then the Asian one, she looks like she's going to end up being a peach top curvy doll uh, skin tone. Or it would be the same as the purple top original MTM dolls. So um, the real pale skin tone, right? Like LA girls. So this is what I'm seeing, you guys, and speaking of LA girls, why does her face sculpt look so much like Skipper's? This might actually be a Skipper head sculpt. I really can't tell from this picture right now that I'm looking at, but I would not be surprised if the Kirby doll is, 
is that head sculpt. She looks a lot like Skipper to me. The prediction for these dolls to be dropped is supposed to be in 2020 sometime. We are damn near over. Like, the, the year is almost over. So, if they don't drop soon, like sometime in the winter months leading up to December, I'll be very surprised. But you never know with Mattel because sometimes they have incorrect predictions for um when they think they're gonna release stuff and it ends up getting delayed and now that we have this whole covid issue who knows if that's affecting their production time frames um i don't know i mean but i wouldn't be surprised if you don't see them on shelves by december don't freak out they're probably coming soon and we might end up having to wait around for tax season to come through before we see these dolls available but hopefully not hopefully they will be on schedule and so we don't know when. We don't know when these dolls are dropping. Yeah, I don't know what month these images dropped online. So I couldn't tell you guys how long ago this stuff was up there. But some of you guys know better than I do. Because y'all be up on top of this. Y'all be telling me. So, <laughs> derf. <laughs> That's what I am anticipating dropping soon. I'm so excited for this. I have not added all of my um, BMR people to my collection. Which... I'm not sure if I'm going to, but there's like random ones that I like. So I'll probably just do another video on that discussing my take on the BMR dolls. And um, but for these ones, I'm really, really excited for these. I hear something about the the boxes having some kind of like texturized tactile something with it. I don't even know what that means, to be honest. I know what those words mean. I'm saying I don't know what this means in context of the doll box. Like, what do they mean? Like those LOL surprise dolls that have like the weird stuff going on with the boxes like the boxes are fancier than the stuff inside the box is that what they mean i don't know but that's just what i'm hearing so if i find out any other news about these dolls that i think are relevant then i will make a new video about that and you guys can stay updated but go ahead and search these dolls on your own uh so that you can have your own take on what's going on with these dolls but overall i don't see a downside i don't see like i love that all of the sculpts they use were closed mouthed and I love that all the sculpts that they use, they kept all of the makeup very simple so that we can customize easily. I love that all the dolls come with articulation, which is why the $30 price point does not really bother me. Because it's like, you would spend about $10 on a fashionista just for her clothing and her head. And then you'd spend another $15 on a um, separate doll for the donor body. And then... If you were into the pet, you would spend another 5 or $10 on just a separate pet alone that comes with its accessories. All that together is 30 bucks, but you just had to make three different purchases to get the same effect. But you got it all in one. So I'm not going to complain about that price point. If you're in another country outside of Europe or uh, America where these dolls would be widely produced and available, then the price is going to probably go up from there because you have to factor in shipping. And all of that stuff. So just keep that in mind if you're budgeting, trying to figure out what you can and can't afford during this crazy time that we're in. But if you can have at it, go for it. I hope you guys will tune in to watch our upcoming videos. I do have a couple more uh, doll events videos scheduled to be um, filmed. And then I have... And thanks for sticking with us. Share this video with your friends. Go ahead and like and subscribe to this channel. And leave a comment below. Let me know what you think and which dolls you would or wouldn't add to your collection from this particular line. If you know who the designer is, drop that in the comments too. I really want to know. I'll talk to you guys later. Follow me on Instagram. And 